quiet and listening. So, a few weeks ago, we talked about documentary conventions or the elements of a documentary. In your books, you actually have notes on it, believe it or not. So, documentaries are informational texts. So they're trying to inform you. They're trying to give you information. What are some of the techniques they do to try and convey that message? Music and sound effects. They will use music or sound effects, won't they, to highlight their message. What else? Narration. 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 Sometimes they will have somebody explaining what's going on as it's going on. And that might happen in a voiceover where they... Voice? where they overlay the voice later after they've filmed it, or they might have a person narrating it sort of as it goes along. In our example, he's been narrating it, explaining stuff as it happens, hasn't he? What else might they have? They might have video diaries, and that might take the form of interviewing people, or it might just take the form of an actual diary where they set the camera up and they film themselves talking about it. Has he used video diaries? Yes. He has, hasn't he? Especially in the first part of his journey when he was on his own. He didn't have his cinematographer friend yet. What else? We've got a whole list here. Some reenactments. So that is when they get some actors to, to replay or act out what has happened, what did happen in real life, because they didn't film it at the time. He's done some of those, did you notice? When his horses got stolen and they showed what was happening. That didn't, he didn't film that while it was happening. He re had it reenacted with using actors and horses and stuff. Were there any other things? Yes, oftentimes illustrations will be used um, and they might be computer generated images or CGI. So it might take the form of diagrams or flow charts or little animations sometimes on different documentaries or it might take the form of, who can think of a good example of what we've seen in this documentary so far? What kind of images or pictures has he shown? He's talking about foreign countries that we haven't been to before, we're not very familiar with, so what has he used to help us understand where he is? A map. Yeah, something really simple, a map to show where he's been. And he had the little... Um, the little coloured line showing where he ha where his journey was taking place, didn't he? That helped us to visualise where he was. Anything else we've missed out? Yeah, yeah. Interviews. Interviews, yes. And he's used lots of those, hasn't he, with the local people. What about um, statistics and facts? Has he told us information about some of the places where he's been? Yeah. Yes, he has. And that makes it quite interesting, doesn't it? Uh, sometimes, even though this is an informative text to tell us information, they will be trying to persuade us to think in a certain way. And so when that happens, they will use persuasive devices, which we'll talk about another day. Okay, any questions? Everybody understand? What I want you to do is to be watching, listening, paying attention to this film as we watch the very last segment and see if you can tell me some examples of some of these things that we've just been talking about. Do you think you could do that?